It's me, Claudia, from Cloud Dolls. As a doll lover and a collector, when I heard the news that Mattel Creation were gonna create a new Monster High Beetlejuice, oh, I was so excited. But yes, it was the day that my mom died and I was thinking about everything except buying a doll. But not this time with Greta from Gremlings. I had to do it. I had to buy it. I had to have it in my collection. So I waited until the last day, until the last hour, until the last second. And when I was paying her, finally, she sold out. I was so disappointed. So I decided to make one for me. I found this Viperin. She had the same texture, scale in her body, but I don't know, she's little. And then I found this Castro Fierce, and I loved her. She's green, she's big, the hands are amazing. I love the face mold, really strong, a lot of character. And yes, this is going to be my Greta. For that, I need a clean canvas, of course. And I have to cut her hair really short. With my heat gun, I will make the vinyl soft to take the head out of the body. And yes, he broken the neck. Well, it's not the end of the world. It's easy to fix. You just have to take the rest of the neck from inside of the head really carefully. And then you put all the pieces together again inside of the neck. And with the heat gun, you're gonna make the plastic warm to melt him a little bit so that he can fuse together. Don't forget to check out the neck if it works. You don't wanna glue the neck also. <laughs> And the rest of the piece, I will glue it with super glue and let it dry. And that is our neck fully, completely dry. I will scratch the rest of the hair inside of the head and I will take it out through the neck hole with my tweezers. With 100% acetone, I will take the factory makeup out. And here we have a clean canvas, a clean face to begin. I have to cut the ears. I didn't forget <laughs> this time. I want to give her a gremlin ears. And I have to cut the hands also, because Greta, she has three fingers. With my nail buffers, I will send the body. And with my nail polish without acetone and cotton, I will clean it. Clean all the rest of the glues and fat. Look at the ends. And now she's ready to start. With my mask and Mr. Super Clear, I give it three layers and let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna put my 3D printer working. I use my resin that I can clean with water 
and after two and a half hours I have a gremlin here. I'm gonna paint it with some light green let it dry with my Dremel I'm gonna make the hole to put the earring that she wear and also the pin that I'm gonna use to attach them to the head with the UV resin I'm gonna secure the pin under the UV lamp And that's how you get to Gremlin Ears. With my watercolor pencils, Faber Castell, and my Rembrandt Soft Pastels, I'm going to give her the shape that I wanted, the shades with dark green. And I'm going to sketch the eyes and the lips and all of the details that I wanted. I will shade the ears also and I will give her the yellow shade that she had in the mouth. I'm gonna give her green eyes and with my brown pencil I start sketching and give her the details. With the red one I give it the waterline and the lips. I add more shade to the eyes. And slowly, between the layers of Mr. Super Clear, I will build her face. I give it the highlights with my white pencil. Really fast, I found out that I couldn't give her the yellow shade around the mouth. I have to uh, neutralize the green color first with white pastel. I give it two layers and then I can build the yellow. With the gray pencil, I give the shadows to the sclera. And now, I can finally start giving her and building the yellow shade around the mouth. I give it a, a little bit of yellow to the eyes also to make it more mysterious. And with dark green I draw the eyebrows. I also give it the birthmark that she have in the upper lip. With my resin pigment white pearl and give it shiny. Now with my black pencil I give it the final color to the eyeliner. I 
and with the black pastel I give it the shadow of the eyelashes. With the white pencil I give it the final details in the eyes and the eye lights. And now I'm drawing the bottom eyelashes really carefully with my Faber-Castell black watercolor pencil. I give a little touch in the eyebrows also with black. I give it some freckles to give more texture to the skin of the gremlin with some uh, dark acryl green and water. With my silver acryl I give it the eyeshadow. And with the white acryl I give it the final touches, the highlights in the lips and in the eyes. If you want to know the kind of material that I use, you can check it in my description box below. With this 100% acryl dark green and with a pet brush I make her some yarn that I'm gonna glue it directly to the head with hot glue. With a hair straightener and my stick I'm gonna give her some big curls. I always start from the bottom to the top and really slowly I'm gonna build her hair. Gizmo have three important rules. He can never get wet because he multiplies you cannot feed him after midnight he will transform himself in a gremlin and you cannot put him in the sun the sun will kill him Greta she coming from the, the second gremlin film the story of the film is in a big skyscraper in New York the owner of Gizmo was working in a lab and they were making experiences with animals and for a mistake Gizmo get wet and multiply after the midnight they drink all the potions of the lab and one of the potions was to change the sex because all of the gremlins they are males this one Greta drink the potion to change the sex and that's how she become a girl. I 
After the hair is ready, I finish him also with a fuchsia satin rose and with some eyelashes. And with the glossy varnish, I will gloss the eyes and her lips. The body, I'm gonna paint him with yellow acryl. I give it the same details that the original Greta from Monster High have it. I had to see a couple of YouTube videos to know how her body is. I'm gonna put the link below of the videos if you want to check it out also. Thank you, YouTubers. Because all the way, I, I didn't know. I just saw her in the box and I had no idea that she had all of the details. She also has scales, as I mentioned before. With the same soft pastels, I give her the blushing to the body after giving two layers of Mr. Super Clear. And I also give her some freckles with the same dark green acryl paint and water. Now for the clothes I'm gonna use the dress of Operetta and I'm gonna use the underskirt of the dress of Aniswan. With this fake letter, red one, I'm gonna take the mold of the jacket and I'm gonna make her jacket. The original doll, the dress, is also with the animal uh, print but with the faces of the Monster High I couldn't find the, the fabric and he was a light purple but I really love this one so I'm gonna use it and she also have an underskirt that looks like this one yeah, I'm recycling again And that's how he is after sewing everything together. After cutting my pattern in the red letter, I'm gonna sew the jacket. First the shoulders, second the sleeves. Now I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna close the jacket. Then I'm gonna give her a color where I'm gonna attach this fuchsia food fabric like the original. With this metal silver details and with some glue I'm gonna attach them to the sleeves.
and I was looking to the jacket and I said, you have to have a zipper. I love it. Makes him hard rock like Greta. Too cute. And the jacket is ready. For the shoes, I'm gonna choose these ones from Claudia. She's also uh, the big body sister. I'm gonna cut them with my exact knife. You have to be very careful so you don't cut yourself. And I'm gonna give it the shape that I wanted like this, the pumps that Greta used. I'm gonna paint them with a dark green acryl. I give it two layers and let it dry between the layers. And I'm gonna paint the bottom of the shoe in red. It looks amazing in Greta. And to finish the shoe, I'm gonna use the same fuchsia satin rose. For the belt, I'm gonna use this thermoplastic that I'm gonna attach to the black fake leather. And with some leftovers of Warbler, I make them warm. I roll it up and I give her the shape of the pins of the belt. And I will glue them in the belt with my super glue. And with my black acryl paint and out of focus, I paint the pins on the belt. I draw some heart shapes on the thermoplastic also. I want to give her a bag, but this one is going to be opened. The original one is closed, but I, I want to make it better. So I'm going to use this fake letter where I'm going to glue the pieces of the bag.
I cut a red heart for the inside of the bag. After everything is dry, I put the bag together and then I found these two gremlin ends in the internet. I'm gonna put the link below in the description box if you want to make the download also. I glue them to the bag with super glue and now I'm painting them with black glossy acryl. She also have a lipstick, that's why the bag is open, so that she can put her lipstick inside of the bag. I want to give a bottle of the potion to change the sex that she drink, for that I'm going to use glow-in-the-dark paint green glitters of course glitters are the most important thing UV resin and a drop of green acryl paint I mix it all together and then I put it under the UV lamp for 90 seconds to cure And with acryl paint, I give it the symbol of the poison that she drink. Here is our gizmo, little gizmo. I printed in my 3D printer and I'm gonna paint him with acryl paint in white color, brown and beige. I have to check it out in the internet for the places of the colors. I was not sure of it. Internet is amazing. And after everything is dry, I'll give her the glossy finish with my varnish. For the base, I print this image of Greta, I cut it. After it dries, with my varnish glossy, I finish the base. And with this, my Greta is ready. I hope you like her as much as I do. And I want to say thank you, thank you for following me in my journey of doll customizing, for watching my videos, to comment, to give me your support. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it and comment. Click the bell button, I'm sure you don't want to lose my next video. I see you there. Bye!